Good day, today we're going to be looking at Team Viewer Host for the Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. So if we go teamviewer.com forward slash download, it's going to bring us to the Linux section on the website here. But we want to click on this guy here, download for your Raspberry Pi right here. So we can use the Team Viewer Host. Um, from the Linux uh, download section there but we're not going to want to use that um, we can but if you're anything new comes out for the Raspberry Pi we're gonna see it in here and hopefully we'll get some more functionality out of team viewer in the future more than just having the host so with the team viewer host what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to remotely connect to it and uh, be able to use it as like a virtual machine and be able to do all our stuff on there. So the one thing I want to point out is if you have a laptop or something that you're gonna be connecting to and it uh, doesn't have that good of a spec, you will notice on some things that it's not going to work properly because of the frame rate or something's not right. So I had one issue where I could play uh, Minecraft on my laptop but I had one of the guys in the class that I taught he would try to connect and all he would get is a black screen. Now I know it works but after checking the specs out of his laptop that he had it connected to uh, it was very apparent that uh, it was a lower spec system than my laptop so I'm just going to assume that it was due to the actual systems configuration uh, that it wasn't allowing it as it was Windows 10 and fully updated at the time that it was uh, that we tested it so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to download host here from that section it's going to bring it up here we're going to click on it it's going to open it up and we're going to click on install. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. We're going to allow that install. All right, we're going to go ahead and accept the license agreement. And then up top here, we're going to have our team viewer loaded up. So we're going to grant easy access. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in my username and email address and password. Uh, that way I don't have to constantly, I do believe, uh, request. I don't have to be on the Raspberry Pi to gain access to it. Because usually what you have to do is accept the connection. But by enabling grant easy access, you're allowing it to say no I don't need to say okay they can control it whenever they want so one thing I'll say is if you haven't created an account you're gonna want to do that now by clicking on this button here it's gonna set you through the form and you're gonna go ahead and then use that to sign in and allow easy access and then on your other computer you're gonna be able to access that by signing into team viewer on your other machine so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to get that in there now so if you haven't hit that like button make sure to do so now if you haven't hit that subscribe button you know what to do okay so it looks like i just had to add it to my trusted devices so i got an email saying to add it there we go so now it's successfully added there we go so we finally got that going there. I had to accept uh, in my email that yes, I want to add this to my computers. Uh, you can have, I do believe, up to three computers on one account. So that's not too bad. All right, so, so far, I'm just gonna sum up what we've done. We have downloaded and we have installed TeamViewer Host. Now we have our access code. So what I'm going to do is on my Windows computer, I'm just going to show you here. I have uh, that already installed here, a team viewer on there. And I just went to teamviewer.com forward slash uh, download. And it brought me to my version of uh, um, team viewer that I needed to download for uh, connecting to it. 
So now all I have to do is enter my partner ID. So I'm going to want this number right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect to it right here. Connect. And now it's showing here on my Raspberry Pi that there is an incoming connection. And there we go. Now our my main computer is going to load up the Raspberry Pi. And I'm just going to minimize that guy. And as you can see, it's going to go keep repeating itself over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to move this out of the way for a moment. Basically about it, all you have to do to get TeamViewer host running is follow those couple of steps. Just download and install it and launch it. And you'll have the little icon up top here and you'll be able to use it without any issues. When it comes down to it, you want to make sure you have the Team Viewer host on your Raspberry Pi. And then if we go over here, you're going to see the Windows versions that I have on my uh, other computer there. Yeah, it should just be this version right here, this Team Viewer for Windows. And uh, it should be... Uh, a free version when you first sign on. Now I do have my other screen. If I bring this back over from my other screen here, you can see that I do have it up here and I am able to control it. So, well, to some degree. And I can change it, uh, yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna close out of that one because that gets a little annoying but you can see that you can connect to it. Uh, now I was connecting to it on my Gigabyte Bricks unit, which is pretty slow and I can't do too much with it, but I can use it for checking in on my Raspberry Pi if I'm using TeamViewer on it. Uh, and I usually take it, uh, the Gigabyte Bricks, if I need to do work somewhere, I'll take that little unit with me instead of a laptop and uh, be able to plug it in anywhere basically and be able to remote into uh, my Raspberry Pi wherever I am. So thanks for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?